Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, today I'm going to be making a homemade boat anchor. Uh, it's more of something you can tie off to that you leave in the water if there's no dock handy. So uh, here's what we got. We got some quick crete concrete mix, 60 pound bag, a five gallon bucket, and water. So let's get started. All right, guys, so uh, the, the things that you're going to need to make this work is a carabiner. You can get a really cheap one if you want, like a dollar one. It'll probably be fine. I sprung for the uh, stainless steel just so it uh, there's a little more corrosion resistance since I'm going to be keeping it underwater. Get yourself a uh, eye bolt, uh, biggest one you can find pretty much uh, at your hardware store. This one is... Uh, a foot long um, go ahead and leave the bolt on there uh, get yourself a hundred feet or 50 feet uh, either one of some nylon rope that won't deteriorate in the water at all uh, get yourself some of that uh, that's at least I'd say um, 300 pounds test and then get yourself Roughly a gallon of water. I got a half gallon here. I got to go refill it after that. Like I said, the quick creek, 60 pound bag, a couple stirrers, at least a 60 pound bag, depending on how full you want it. And of course, a five gallon bucket. All right, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so first thing you're going to want to do is fill maybe a quarter of your five gallon bucket up with the quick creek. Go ahead, dump that in there. Make sure when you go to your hardware store, you get a few of these free paint stirring sticks. You're gonna need them. Get the kind that are for five gallon buckets, not the small ones. So take your container of water and pour about a third of it, in this case the half gallon, into the cement. About that much, maybe a, a little bit more. Go ahead, take your stir stick and start stirring until you get a nice even consistency and there's no dry cement. Okay guys, now that you got a pretty good consistency in there, um, we're gonna go ahead and, and make sure that there's no dry spots. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, dry concrete and uh, work that in and then uh, systematically go through this bucket and until it's gone. Well, I've got my uh, trusty sidekick over there churning butter. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how the uh, total cost so this uh, marine carabiner uh, runs about five dollars um, like I said you don't have to get the nice one like this but um, mine will be staying underwater for years and years and years so I decided that I'd get one that I knew wouldn't rust or at least wouldn't rust as quickly and would still work so that I didn't have to get in the water and change it out um, as far as the eye bolt, uh, the foot long eye bolt, that runs about uh, buck fifty, and uh, you get the galvanized one again if you don't want it to rust. I don't really care if that's rusted, so I didn't uh, spring for that because it doesn't matter to me as long as it's still got a circle on the end that it takes weight. That's all that uh, really counts. Um, your uh, nylon. Uh, rope here um, This stuff is uh, Like seven or eight bucks for a hundred feet. I'm doubling it up uh, It's gonna be able to have a safe workload of 360 pounds, so it'll probably hold somewhere around 500 pounds, which is plenty for uh, my 17 and a half foot boat And then of course you need some water uh, So all in with these materials um, You're looking at five bucks about two bucks so seven bucks uh seven bucks like you're looking at thirteen dollars and then the 60 pound bag of quick crete at menards or home depot will run you 297 so that's a great deal and then you know one of those uh all-purpose home depot or menards lowe's buckets and those are something like 250 so you can get this whole thing done for uh under uh 25 bucks and uh, maybe even less, depending if you already have the bucket or you already have some rope or whatever. And uh, 
So I, I got uh, four bags of Quick Creek because I'm making two of these things. And uh, all in, I'm looking at 30 something bucks for two of these anchors. And uh, that's a heck of a deal. So uh, we'll get back over here and see what's going on with our progress. Uh, our bucket's about halfway full at this point and we got a good consistency. Um, if you get one 60 pound bag of quick crete, it's gonna fill it a little bit more than three quarters full. We ended up getting more quick crete than that because we wanted it to be about flush with the top and really be right up at the top. Uh, but again, it's, it's totally your preference. All right, guys, as you uh, finish up and get, get yourself up near the top and you're all uh, consistent all the way through, um, we ended up using about a bag and a half of quick creep. So uh, you're looking at 90 pounds. about 90 pounds. All said and done, you should be just north of 100 pounds. Um, so next thing you're going to want to do, get it all smoothed out, Colin. Much. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your eye bolt here and you're going to want to sink that in to your desired height above. Um, Move the stick. So that's where ours is going to sit. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess you could sit it higher if you wanted. It shouldn't matter though because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run rope through here and then put some kind of float at the top like a buoy or even if you're if you're on a budget a milk jug or something that will float the rope up to the top Piece with the wood. carabiner connected to it um and then you can just clip onto that and this is what's going to keep your boat in place and this will just stay underwater all year long um and uh yeah all right guys, so if you were curious on what this turned out to end up looking like, um, this is what it's gonna end up looking like. Your eye bolt's gonna be here. It's gonna be extremely well cemented in there. This is gonna rise a little bit, uh, be just about flush at the top. And this thing's gonna weigh out at about 100 pounds. Uh, there you go guys, for less than 35 bucks, you have uh, two um, ways to anchor your boat if you don't have a dock.